How did we first announce our presence to the galaxy? It was 1946, the year after the Second World War ended. The vivid imaginations of H.G. Wells and Buck Rogers never cooked up a more fantastic experience than the Army engineers at their laboratory in Belmar, New Jersey. It opens up unlimited possibilities for interstellar experiment. American engineers bounced a beam of radio waves off the moon and were able to detect its echo. They called this experiment Project Diana. It was the first interstellar message ever sent by our species. An eerie tolling bell. If one allows the imagination free reign, many future possibilities appear. Spaceships carrying passengers at thousands of miles per hour can be controlled and communication established with their passengers. For we now know that the Earth's atmosphere can be penetrated. Traveling at the speed of light, it takes just over one second for a radio wave to reach the lunar surface. But the expanding wavefront is much bigger than the moon. Most of the wave passes right by it, but the central part gets bounced back. After a round trip travel time of two and a half seconds, it hits our planet. Project Diana transmitted a series of powerful radio waves, one every four seconds, to ping the moon. The parts that miss the moon are traveling still. It was just the beginning. After World War II, television stations cropped up all over the United States and other parts of the world. The Project Diana message and the FM radio, television and radar signals of the 20th century all move outward at the speed of light. These transmissions make up a vast sphere of radio waves expanding away from the Earth in all directions. You could say that our world is radiating stories. Our ancestors etched the story of Gilgamesh into clay tablets, sending that epic tale into the future. We've encoded our stories in radio waves and beamed them into space. They cover one light year of distance, that's six trillion miles, for every year of time since they were sent. We've been sending our stories into space for over 70 years. The leading edge of these signals has already washed over thousands of planets of other stars. If any of these worlds are home to a civilization with radio telescopes, they could already know that we're here. What if other worlds are sending their stories into space? Since 1960, we've been listening for extraterrestrial radio signals without hearing so much as a tolling bell. But our search has been sporadic and limited to certain parts of the sky. For all we know, we may have just missed an alien signal, looking in the wrong place at the wrong time. We've only listened to a minuscule fraction of the stars in our galaxy. And there may be another problem. We are, to some extent, prisoners of our own moment in time with the limits of our technology. Radio and television broadcasting may be only a brief passing phase in our technological development. When we imagine alien civilizations broadcasting signals with radio telescopes, are we any different from earlier generations who imagined riding cannon shells to the moon? Civilizations even slightly more advanced than ours may have already moved on to some other mode of communication, one that we have yet to discover or even imagine. Their messages could be swirling all around us at this very moment, but we lack the means to perceive them. Just as all of our ancestors up to a little more than a century ago would have been oblivious to the most urgent radio signal from another world. 